my name is Leslie and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a beautiful flour made out of fondant. It's a candy play-doh recipe that is really fun to work with. It's beautiful enough for any cake and fun enough for kids to play with too. This recipe makes beautiful flours and they can be made ahead of time or right on the spot for what you need. The recipe for this is about four cups of powdered sugar, half a cup of butter, a quarter cup of corn syrup, or you can use a simple syrup too for that, a teaspoon of vanilla, and half a teaspoon of salt. It's a really sturdy, wonderful recipe. What you'll want to do is take your Play-Doh, and you're going to have it about like this, this consistency, and then once you add your coloring in, it might get a little sticky. So have some powdered sugar on hand in case you need to get it back to that nice um, consistency that doesn't stick on your hands. You'll want to take about a golf ball size of um, candy play-doh and you'll want to break it into about seven pieces, seven marble size pieces. You're going to flatten out each marble size piece to about a size of a quarter and then you're going to simply roll it up so that it looks like the center of the rose. Now if you're doing it on a cookie you could brush a little um, corn syrup on there to make it stick. If you're doing it on something that's frosted, the frosting will help it to stick. The inner petals are going to be a little smaller, so you can picture smaller size balls for the inner petals. And you'll wrap them around and you're going to want them to overlap and slightly go out a little bit. And you'll keep going around and around until you get this beautiful rose. You can see how quickly it forms and this is a lot of fun. Um, the leaves are made the same way. Let's see. Let's do this for the rose. So we'll just leave this one as a little rosebud. For the leaves, what we do is we add in the coloring. And if you want a little more of a bluish leaf, you could leaf you could add in a little blue, or if you want it to be a warmer green, add a little yellow with that. And you can see, like with this, because this is liquid food coloring, it is getting kind of sticky. So I'm going to roll it in the powdered sugar. And it's kind of nice to leave it a little marbled sometimes, too, especially for the flowers. So you choose how much coloring you want to add, and that might determine how much added powdered sugar you add to that. And then with the leaves, it's simply shaping it into your leaf shape, taking a knife, giving it a vein, and a little side vein, and then you'll want it to tuck it underneath your flower and then bring it back down. And for some reason, flowers look about 100% better when they have a leaf with them. So we're going to give this little flower two. Now if you want to do this other little flower, kind of like a little flat flower. That is done with some blue frosting and yellow. Um, what we'll do is we'll add this blue in. And just a little bit for the blue. looks really pretty. Um, and the one that, the example that I have right there, it is marbled a little bit, so I didn't mix it all in. And I really like that effect. And for this again, what you would do is just add a little more powdered sugar to that and I've got about five petals. I'm going to make five little marble size balls and this one I'm leaving very marbled and I think it looks really pretty. And Use your finger to do a little indent and that will make it look even more like a flower. And then once you have your flower all put together you can take your knife and do some little added markings to make it look more like a flower. And that will give it a little more detail, just two or three little impressions. And then with this one, I'm going to take a little bit of pink and do a little pink center. We'll do, with this one, we'll do how about two little dots, like that. And with this, the 
green the same way. I'm going to take some little, like, these are probably like bean sized pieces, and I'm going to just snug them in up underneath this flower. And then after we get them all in place, we'll take our knife and we will do our veining on it. And they dry really pretty and you can still eat them even after they're dry. I'm going to add a third little center to that. It's beautiful. Have fun with your candy fondant. It's delicious to eat and really fun to work with. Thanks for joining me.